What's up YouTube, Mr. Lama C here, and today we're gonna to talk about the most efficient farming method in the game. And this, of course, is going to be the character that we just were able to put together here recently. It took us, you know, a couple months of on and off farming stuff to kind of get him where he's at. Um, he still probably needs a tiny bit of work with his mercenary and stuff, but it is the Barbarian, and specifically the Berserk Barbarian, right? So we are honing in on this berserk skill right here does the magic damage um, so we're focusing in on that uh, we're focusing in on our sword mastery since we're running dual swords um, and then just a point in the other ones and then uh, I do like to have usually a few extra points into to Hal here so you can go ahead and push more into Hal if you want but max battle orders and then again we have um, dump the point into find potion as that is a synergy for find item now um, to increase our chances there and again you can always kind of shift this around if you want to do a little bit less damage and focus more on getting more points into find item and getting like that percent chance up a couple more percent or if you want a little bit more in how whatever you want to do you can always do all of this even just less battle orders i would say is something that's definitely viable take a few points out of bo and then you can kind of spread those between there um stat wise uh we, we kind of have a little bit too much strength and dexterity i need to kind of respec and knock some of that stuff out i just haven't done this um, respect this character in a long time so it needs to be spec there and gear wise uh, on our main hand we're running grief I rolled a poor one but that's okay um, so we have our grief right here even the worst grief is still the best weapon I have a chammed shako this is so I can have cannot be frozen I could also run uh, the set troll belt trang's belt um, if I didn't have this right there and then I could, you know, instead have just the, the P Topaz there or whatever it is. Um, I could also run an Etnax, uh, you know, the five open socket, unique, and then get Can't Be Frozen there and put S there and blah, blah, blah. But this is still kind of be, going to be the most efficient way um, is to have the Champ Shaco, have the six Isted sword. You can make a crystal sword now. It used to have to be a phase blade so that you would have the same attack frames. Um, on your main hand, but now that offhand does not affect the main hand in any capacity. So I made it in a crystal sword so I can move it around my sorceress and other characters later. This is the highest magic find you will get on any weapon whatsoever, right? So a lot of people are like, what about an Alibaba with two ist in it and stuff? And it's like, that's great and only costs two ist, but it can go up to 99% on its own plus the additional 60, so 159%. It's much cheaper, 21% MF lower. Again, you're saving four ist for it. So, you know, kind of you get to make the decision there if you want to do it like this. You could also so throw a single ist into a gold dagger and get your 130 and be like, that's close enough. But this is the uh, optimal where you want it at. Obviously, the Enigma for the um, teleport, and then you also get all the, other, all the other boost stuff, which is nice with the MF and all of that. Uh, I've got my Chanseys, I've got my Nagel right there. If you can get a 40 MF ring, great. I've got my Gold Wrap. Um, I have a 10 FCR ring with some min damage and MF. I need to hit 110 or 105 FCR. So I'm doing it this way. You can also, of course, do it on your amulet instead where you get a 5% FCR, like two to barb skill, five FCR, and some other things there. Um, that totally is fine as well, right? But I'm doing it this way with a 10 FCR ring. And then, our, of course, our war traps. Uh, all of these charms are pretty much MF. Of course, we have our Jeeves charm. Um, mostly MFers. And I have a couple resistance. And then this really baller charm right here. Um, just to kind of help out a little bit with the res. Because my res isn't perfect. I may even sack a couple more MF charms just to get a little bit more resistances on this character. Uh, it's not terrible where he's at, 4431. Um, but, you know, I could make it a little bit higher for that fire res or so. Uh, on my offhand, I'm running two whiz pikes. You can also run two suicide branch. Totally fine as well. Whatever you want right there. Um, getting those plus two to skills can be nice for the horking. You know, it gets you maybe 1% maybe extra on your boost there. Uh, mercenary, my character is very weak right now. I just have a plain insight. I didn't make it in an eth thresher yet or anything. 
Um, so I'm just running this plain one. Definitely get this ethereal. I haven't found my my fort base yet. I have the low rune and everything I need. I just need to find a nice ethereal armor and then I'll force socket that and make my fortitude. And then of course I have Andy's helm. So, um, and I'll put a Rao rune into that to help him with his fire resist, just to help him out a little bit. So that's gonna be kind of the three piece set that I'll be running there. Like I said, I just kind of wanted to get this character moving so he could start running around. So what you do is you're going to uh, cast your battle orders, battle command, and then you're going to be on your FCR breakpoints. Because again, this is where you can teleport around really quickly, right? You're on the 105 breakpoint, which is the same as the sorceresses. So you jump in, and you can go after any any of these guys, and you're looking for just the boss groups, right? So all of this, none of this is boss group, none of this is boss group, blah, blah, blah. I'm just looking, just looking for bosses here. There's a boss. I can howl everything away and just kill the boss and then find item, right? And champions I'll also kill as well. And I'll just find item on the champions and I'll just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward, looking for that next boss. Howl away the regular monsters. Right there. And we're just gonna do the same thing. And then go to level two. All the way the normies. Find item on all of these. Focus in on the one that's not running away. Pop the chest. Boom, you're good, right? There was an Archon plate on the floor. Yeah, I should have grabbed it, huh? Um, I, was, I was trying to just show the video. So that is going to be kind of your full run. Yeah, I should have picked up the, the Grey Archon. But that is going to be your full run right there, right? It's just nice, quick, and easy. You get in. It doesn't take very long. And, of course, the reason that this is going to be um, the best character in the game is find item. Right? This is why this is the best magic finding character in the game. Because you have find item right here. So it's not just that I'm going around and I have good kill speed. Because, you know, okay, a lot of other characters can also kill at a similar speed to this, right? You can get a sorceress with lightning or something and jump around in here and you can kill these mobs at a similar speed, maybe even slightly faster sometimes. But the difference is once I've killed those monsters, every single time I use find item here, it reapplies my magic find as if it's another boss monster. So you're literally doubling the amount of bosses that you kill. So even if you're only killing at like 75% of the speed or something of your sorceress, whatever it is, by being able to find item right here, you are now increasing those chances and it's not doubling because remember it's 70 percent chance of it but you're making it pretty good to the point where uh you know you're getting a really good chance of that additional boss and it's really really nice so this is um the best character that you're going to get it's a little difficult to run it in a super budget form. You definitely want to have, you know, your Enigma and things. Like, yes, you can run around, but being able to teleport and have that extra speed really does add a lot. So that's why when I was building this character, I worked on my Amazon and my Sorceress doing LK runs. I did use this character for Trav running. So that is something you can also do to try and get yourself... Um, you know, whatever you want there is you can just run right here on the trav, jump up, and then just start killing all of the trav members because this is still a good place that you can get jaw rune. Now I would recommend having dwarf star for this. Uh, you know, whatever, right? I, I don't wanna lose my mercenary and stuff, but you can do that and you can find all item all of them. So I do say if you don't have Enigma, doing trav runs and stuff is good, but I wouldn't be running around doing all of the like outer cloister, you know, going to the pits and all of that, because that's just gonna be a little bit too far um, and you probably will lose a lot of efficiency. But once you get Enigma, again, this is kind of an expensive character um, and takes a little bit to get going. 
But once you can get him set up, he is the best farming character in the game, uh, especially if you're going for that grail and you're looking to get all of these awesome things. This is the guy that you want to have. So anyways, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys are having some fun, enjoying yourself, maybe building up towards your own Berserk Barbarian. Thank you all for watching. Mwah. Kisses. Peace, YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe.